Well, tonight it's finally official. The water at a big Orlando retirement community tested positive for the bacteria that causes Legionnaire's disease. We told you the water was going to be tested about two weeks ago when a now former resident got sick. Channel 9's Lauren Seabrook joins us live from Westminster Towers near Lake Lucerne. Lauren, are they worried that others might get sick as well? Well, they believe everyone is in the clear now. They gave all residents health screenings, and they say those all came back just fine. The bacteria is naturally occurring in lakes like this one, but they're not sure how it started spreading through the water system inside this building. More than 300 people live in this retirement community near downtown Orlando, and they had to go without running water recently so they wouldn't get sick. We were informed by the Department of Health that a former resident had tested positive. Positive for Legionnaire's disease. And the Department of Health just found out the water at Westminster Towers tested positive for the bacteria that causes it. We've taken a variety of preventive steps prior to that and subsequent to that. Uh, that includes providing bottled water to residents. At that time, Westminster Towers pumped the water system full of chlorine to kill the bacteria. The Center for Disease Control says Legionella is found in most freshwater lakes and streams. But it becomes a health concern when it grows and spreads in human-made water systems, like showers, faucets, air conditioning units, hot water tanks, and plumbing. People can get sick from it when they inhale droplets from the air formed from the contaminated water. Staff at Westminster Towers say they screened residents for the disease, and no other residents have it. We've heard a lot of positive feedback from the residents uh, about how they feel like they're being well cared for. And so, Lauren, has this retirement community had any issues with Legionnaire's disease before? No, Greg, but in just the last hour or so, the health department did get back to me and tell me that there have been some other health concerns here in the past. They say they have had five different outbreaks of either gastrointestinal or respiratory illnesses in just the last seven years. Reporting live in downtown Orlando, Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.